Well, folks, I don't know how it has been at your house, but for about the past two weeks in Chaco, Mississippi, it has been hot as blazes. But I'm out here this afternoon in my studio, and I have found a great shade tree. So it's not that bad now. I love it out here. Um, just want to run over a quick little thing with you today. Lawyers and politicians don't lie. Uh, you can, mm, well, let me, unless, they don't lie unless. You can fill in the blanks here. Unless he or she is uninformed or he or she is running for election or whether he or she needs to bolster his or her weak case in a lawsuit or some such or whether his or her actions in a particular situation elicit an environment that presents a spurious condition. You can look that up. Now you take the present hearing on the January 6th fracas by the House Select Committee on Homeland Security. Surely you know what's going on there and have followed it. It's been on all the news and different slants on it. In any case, this committee is chaired by Representative Benny Thompson, whose remarkably unremarkable congressional career has spanned almost 30 years, and who, to my dismay, is my representative in Mississippi's 2nd Congressional District. Now, this hearing has been loudly touted as a bipartisan operation, while only two members <laughs> of the hearing committee are Republicans, and who apparently have a bias bent toward the outcome of the committee's findings and that bent mimics that of the committee Democrat members. So, does that condition, while technically truly presented, represent a lie in profession to portray the actual events being presented? Well, it reminds me of a story I heard some time ago. It seems that a lawyer who had a wife and 12 children needed to move because his rental agreement was terminated by the owner who wanted to reoccupy the house. But the lawyer was having a lot of difficulty finding a new house. And when he said he had 12 children, nobody would rent a home to him because they felt that the kids would destroy the place. <laughs> well, he, he couldn't say that he had no other or fewer children because he couldn't lie, as we all know, since previously mentioned, lawyers cannot and do not lie. So he retained a realtor, and uh, the realtor was going to assist him in finding a home and agreed to meet him at a specific location in a neighborhood where he wanted to look. Now, there was a beautiful cemetery there in the area, so he sent his wife and 11 other kids out there for a walk through that beautiful cemetery. And he took the oldest son with him to meet the realtor and to look at the available homes. Well, he found one that he liked and the price was right and he knew his wife would love this one. Now the lease was ready to sign and the agent asked him, how many children do you have? And the lawyer answered, 12. And the agent said, well, hmm, wh uh, where are the others? And the lawyer, with his best courtroom sad look and with a trembling chin, answered, they're in the cemetery with their mother. <laughs> the lease was signed with no problem. Now, the lesson in the moral here is, it is not necessary to lie. One only has to choose the right words, like 
bipartisan. And don't forget, most politicians are lawyers. Now, next week, we're scheduled to have a conversation with Guy Hovis, and if we're lucky, he'll sing for us. You're going to really enjoy this one. He is a good man. He is a talented individual with a long time in show business, as most of you know. And he's an old friend of mine. And I am looking forward to that. Hope you'll join us next week when we have Guy Hovis for our conversation here. So, until then, I'm Jim Ritchie. And I'll see you again next time.